the commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the first match of the BSL Season 16 Hasu League semifinal. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Monk, aka Shaolin backwards, as the gray Protoss. Upper left-hand corner, we got Fisheye starting as the yellow Protoss. This is going to be on Circuit Breaker to start. Now, Monk, depending on how you look at the series of matches prior to this versus Gauss, you could look at him as kind of like that wise sage style of fighter where he's teaching his opponent through uh various kind of toying with him in a very appropriate name sort of style with monk or you could look at him as the villain who's uh crushing and humiliating his opponent through the round of eight to establish uh fear in his other protoss opponents i don't know uh point being i think he's going to have fisheye has much stronger pvp than gauss i would argue and so he might have his work cut out for him though Monk could have been more in practice for PvP going through a PvP opponent to reach this stage. We'll have to see. Circuit Breaker being cross-map does mean that it is more likely to favor the macro-oriented opponent. And I know that Fisheye is one of those guys who is very macro-oriented across all of his... Basically, yeah, every matchup. He's going for that macro win. Part of what makes him a solid player. Looks like he's going to scout bottom left after gateway first. No scout for Monk. And that actually, that little bit can be a significant game changer and give one the lead. A simulator warping in for both players. Fisheye, of course, is going to come across second. There's no way that Monk is going to be able to blockade, but that's going to be one probe up, which is allowing for slight worker leads. Just that little bit of minerals. And every little bit counts, particularly in the mirror matchups. 7x score warping alongside the Assimilator. We do see an Assimilator build opposite edge as well. We'll see if Fisheye, upon not getting that initial scout, decides to go for an initial Zealot or not. No initial Zealot being constructed, despite having... Well, it looks like he might have had the blockade to do so. Second pylon in base. Looks like it is going to be Dragoons first across the board. Fisheye able to scout in. So at the very least going to get the information advantage. Sees the additional pylon. Sees the second gateway. Sees the cybernetics core timing. And now, after seeing that second gateway, I think he can feel pretty confident in just exiting if he wants to move from here. He now has the option to go. It looks like he's got the zealot blockading the ramp. Honestly, I might just go one gate into Robo with that scouting information. It looks like, no, he's going to go Citadel of a Dune. Going to risk everything on a potential DT play. Plus one weapons is being faked. It looks like Monk might want to go for DTs himself. Or a quick Reaver. We'll see. Much later Probe Scout winding its way around. First Dragoon is going to get constructed. The very least Monk is going to know that it wasn't a one gate into expand build. Dragoon out on the field, able to quickly take out that probe scout. Monk canceling. Now the question is, is does he go robotics? Usually if you are going to go robo and go for the fake, it's just going to be... No, he's going to go for an expansion. Templar Archives warping alongside the gas, and this could be trouble. This might just be a straight up build order victory from Fisheye, recognizing the opportunity... And that can be the advantage of scouting information like that, is recognizing the opportunity and going for it. Granted, it could have been two-gate robo. That tends to be the standard thing across the board, but this time getting a very quick... And keep in mind, this is one gate into Templar Archives. Probe dies nigh instantly. Does that put up Monk's cackles, though? Does he... No, he's going for a forge and Citadel of a Dune of his own. We'll see if that cannon timing... So Templar Archives is up. DT's being built. The forge should be finished. So we'll see if the cannon gets warped in in time and if it's sufficient to deal with the, the Dark Templar movement. Forge preventively being built from Fisheye as well. Dragoons spread out to go ahead and create blockade. I think Monk recognizes the build order from Fisheye because he's already creating... This is less of a perimeter wall to stop. Yeah, he's got two cannons on the front and this is going to give him a big eco lead 
brilliant play on his part. He's like, okay, you were blockading the ramp. I did not see sufficient dragoons. I recognize there's some missing gas. Let's get the cannons online. At the very least, what this does allow Fisheye to do is continue with the Nexus at his natural expansion. But with the two cannons, that will be it to go ahead and blockade the front. And now with that, yeah, with that safety ring, the Dragoon's backing out. Poor Dark Templar, doomed before the start. Nice wall as well. So now, Monk going to be way ahead as far as the early economics of the game. Because he's going to be able to double build on that Nexus much more efficiently. It looks like he wants to counter with some Dark Templar of his own. We do have two cannons being built on the opposite side. I think also recognizing that it was only three Dragoons out on the front. And this is an interesting play from Monk. He's got a pylon very sneakily being built in the upper right hand corner with him. So this pylon could turn into a robotics facility, which could also create a shuttle. And we could see all sorts of play out of this. Two Dark Templar out over the wall, or we could see just a sneaky base top right, learning some lessons from Gauss at earlier stages of the match. Although I'd be worried about that with the potential of Dark Templar roaming out in the mount, uh, out on the map. So this could be an econ a small economic catch-up maneuver here from Fisheye as natural expansion just coming online now with a four worker gap there already. High Templar out on the field, another Dark Templar plugging the gap. So these Dark Templar could end up losing their lives and that at least would be something. Yeah, wow. So Monk gonna play, gonna take some lessons from his previous opponent and play Ultra Protoss style. The Dark Templar recognized the cannons hold up short. They're gonna go ahead and blockade out that third. And we got a sneaky Nexus upper right hand corner to maintain that economic lead. And Fisheye really doesn't have a lot of options to find it. it looks like he is built constructing a shuttle for himself though to maybe get a Dark Templar into the main. A cannon being built, an observatory, and double forge. So getting all the tech has been dropped back here from Monk. Double forge for those upgrades. We'll see if he drops some additional gateways. This is a very Protoss game. Three o'clock location. Dragoons currently blockading there. Assimilator warping in. A Dark Templar is meandering to that upper right. So that cannon, let's see if it gets wiped out or if it does in fact find that cannon. Looking for the shuttle out in the field. Shuttle scooping up a high Templar to maybe go for a storm drop. Does the Dark Templar back out? No, it's just going to engage that cannon. Does it get through? It does get, oh, it doesn't quite get through the lines. Maybe with a little bit of a different micro pattern there, it might have been able to pull that out. But now it, at least it confirmed that there's a third Nexus there, which could give some response options for Fisheye. He knows he can get aggressive with these high Templar. Yeah, scooping up some additional units. Maybe going to go for an assault top right, but a Dark Templar is nearby and could shut that down, especially without a, an observer tagging along to prevent anything. And Fisheye looks like he might want to go for a sneaky expansion himself on his own side of the map, bottom left. Curious about these Dragoons, maybe just to engage a potential shuttle that would have been out on the map. So now the observer coming alongside with some shuttle micro. Fisheye hasn't really been on top of the unit micro here to pull things off. At least he's going to get a probe kill. That shuttle immediately dying to the cannon line. Yeah, Fisheye's just really been dropping it, and it looks like that Dark Templar... So some probe kills at the very least. Somehow Fisheye, again with that fantastic macro that he's known for, despite being down in Nexus, is actually up in workers, but gonna lose units for free top right. It's still down in supply overall. Three Dragoons making their way top right to provide some sufficient defense. A counter shuttle now making its way out. For Monk, unfortunately for Fisheye, he doesn't have quite the troop count in comparison to deal with this. So this could, although the pylon might spot it, his reaction times have not been the best. Their shuttle speed, the pylon is spotted. Does he move the Dragoons? Okay, yeah, the Dragoons moving across. Is it sufficient? Probe scattering every direction. Dark Templar dropping at the natural, and it looks like the cannon not quite there to cover, although it's bugging out. Fortunately for the probes and a storm drop at the main, getting all sorts of damage there. The Dark Templar fortunately getting wiped out. 
The shuttle gonna reposition. I don't know if there's another storm in there. A second forge has been constructed. Pylon block at the six o'clock location, recognizing some tr <laughs> some trouble along that route. But right now, Fisher, I despite all the good work to keep that probe count high, dropping an emergency third nexus, and now he's just hoping that Monk doesn't attack into him anytime soon. Down twenty supply, High Templar with fourteen kills. Oh, that was a lot of that was a juicy side storm, I will say. That had some extra jolt to it. Woo! Six gateways up for Monk. He can go ahead and fill out that infrastructure. Continuing with the upgrades, a shuttle wandering its way in with two High Templar, but it does not have speed. A single High Templar drops. Nothing is working out for Fisheye here in game one. Level one weapons is there online. He's at least doing a good job of keeping those probes pumping. Has a lot of gateways for himself, but right now, as far as any small engagement, he's lost units, he's lost those DTs in the early stages. Monk read his build. At the very least, that might be an advantage for Fisheye game two to recognize if he just you can just start moving maybe towards two gate play. Pylon blockade bottom left. That's gonna get spotted. Let's see if Fisheye responds in kind. He's got a single Dragoon out there right this second, although he's not repositioning the Dragoons as of yet. So he might not see this. Some additional Dragoons actually moving towards the front, maybe to apply some pressure. The shuttle is damaged. There is a single cannon back here. Weaver drops. Nice response. Single side storm catching a few probes still. Another side storm drop obliterating a handful of probes. At least that's not a 14 kill, but it's still catching some units. Rescooping it up. The Reaver looks like it's been taken out. Another side storm drop, again, emptying that probe line. And oof, things looking rough. Now Dragoon's going to go ahead and take out that pylon to maybe open up another expansion. Fisheye trying to take a desperation nexus at the 12 o'clock. That shuttle just going to pocket itself. That could move over and spot that 12 o'clock base. Fisheye going for, yeah, this is a desperation fourth is what this comes down to. Down 50 supply right this second. He's just going to have to rely on side storm if any sort of attack presents itself on the front. It looks like Monk right this second just clearing out pylons out in the field. A slew of gateways being plopped down. Level 2 weapons, level 1 armor with level 2 armor shortly to finish. There for Monk. Monk has supply capped himself and this is... That's going to give opportunities, but as soon as... Wow, he got that pylon online immediately filling in the supply. Starting to move out with initial army and that could just overwhelm this front. There's only two High Templar with two side storms apiece. Fisheye has too much territory to defend, to be honest, and he's moving out with a shuttle. Units sweeping and adjusting location, however, and it looks like that shuttle gonna get spotted. Is it gonna get wiped out? Fisheye is not one, one of these unit engage, um, he's just lost so many free units. It looks like it's gonna scoot out with a little bit of health. The units readjusting, they're gonna dive into the third and Fisher is going to have to GG right here because he's not going to be able to stop the onslaught and it is just going to be, it'll be an onslaught from this point forward. Dark Templar in the field as well. Observers could have gotten picked out of the sky. Empty side storm right there. Monk eating some finally some side storm on the Dragoon lines but there's GG from Fisheye. All right, game 1 to Monk in convincing fashion. Fisheye was my favorite but Playing sloppy, I gotta say, in game one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like and a subscribe. You know, all the things that YouTube people say. Uh, appreciate your viewership as always. Thank you for listening.